Hey guys, I brought you out to the islands of Hawaii today to show you the method that I use for cracking open coconuts. Now when you go down to the store and buy a coconut, it's already ripped out of the husk for you, but out on an island, if you're stranded like you are on Castaway, you have to get through the husk in order to get to the coconut. But these husks are deceivingly tough. They take an enormous amount of energy to rip through. And so if you're in a survival situation trying to conserve energy, the last thing you want to do is burn it all up trying to get to your source of food. So here's a little method that I've played around with to crack these things open using as little energy as possible. When you give your coconut a good shake, you should be able to hear the water sloshing around inside. If you don't hear anything, it's either chock full or completely empty, and you can tell that by the weight of the coconut itself. And when you look at the coconut, you'll notice it kind of has a sharp pointy end on one side and a blunt end on the other. And what we're gonna need to do is smash the top so we crush the fibers and peel this thing apart. If we tried using rocks to chip at this, we'd be chipping all day. And we are not strong enough to pry this open with our fingers. What we actually need to do is crush the fibers and make them weak enough that we can pull them apart with relative ease. And the easiest way to do that is by using gravity. Now, if you're on an island like I am, all you need to do is come down to a rocky part of the beach, set your coconut upright on a hard surface and surround it with other rocks, and then grab a rock that's about as big as you can lift on your own, raise it four feet high, and throw it straight down into the top pointy part of this coconut. And it might take a few tries to really get the fibers broken up, so throw that rock as many times as it takes until you actually physically see the strands of coconut starting to bust loose. <sighs> So you can see after two smashes with a heavy rock how it's busted lines down this husk. That's a very good sign. It's already weakening the structure. And now if we turn it over and give it one more good smack from the bottom side, it should be enough to crack that. So instead of spending hours peeling away at this thing, we can let gravity do the hard work for us. Sweet. That's looking pretty good. So at this point, I can feel this is softening up quite a bit. And look at that. It just peels right apart. That's exactly what I was going for right there. So it took three hits with the rock, two on the top, one on the bottom, and now it's to the point where we can just peel this off, almost like husking corn. It's not difficult, doesn't take a lot of energy. And there we have it, there's our coconut. Needs a little bit of a haircut, but in essence, that's what we're after right there. And the rest of this husk makes really great fire tinder for starting your survival fire. That man is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. So I just gave our coconut a little bit of a haircut and you can see now this is what they look like in the stores, don't they? Which is already the hard work's been done for you. Now we just need to find a sharp rock that we can bang this against and crack it open, which shouldn't be too difficult on a big rocky beach like this. Now to get inside our coconut, there's a cool trick we can use that involves these three dots on the face of the coconut. And if you think of it as a face, you can see two of the dots look very similar, we're gonna call those the eyes. The other one's a little bit odd shaped, we're gonna call that the mouth. Now if you split the eyes and follow it straight up the back, you'll see a hard ridge line if you stop right in the center, that is the place that we need to smack very hard against a rock. So find a rock with a nice sharp edge and set your coconut so that your line is perpendicular to it. What we're going to do is just give it a nice crack right in the center of the coconut and it should split a line right across the center. Look how cleanly that splits the coconut open there. And now if we just put our fingers into that line and pull back, we can pop it open and salvage the water from our coconut. As easy as that. Mmm, that's good stuff. So there you have it guys. If you're ever stranded on a desert island and need to survive on coconuts, there's a quick and easy way to get the nutrition you need. Thanks for joining me for this experiment and I'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then. Multi-purpose. Oh dude, one shot and look at that. With the green coconut, all the milk just cracks right out. There's not even a shell that's thick enough to withstand it.